What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and Bitcoin is starting to get a little bit of a dump to the downside. Is this something you should be worried about? Are we about to see Bitcoin dump down to the mid to low 40s like we've been looking at on my live streams? Well, in today's video, I want to cover the current price action. Some of those local levels that we're approaching right now. Can we see a bounce or are we about to just see Bitcoin break down? See that bearish three day money flow that we've been keeping an eye on start to play out and give us that much bigger move down to the mid to low 40s and if that does happen what does that mean for the overall crypto market is the bull market over i'm gonna cover everything in today's quick market update so buckle up mafia it's gonna be a good one and without further ado let's go ahead and jump on into the charts let's get into it so guys here we are on the bitcoin chart and as you guys can see we have gotten a little bit of a spill to the downside here today now is this something you should be worried about again is bitcoin going to get this much bigger breakdown that we've been looking at on my live streams and i'll be honest with you guys bitcoin is absolutely in the danger zone right now because we don't have much lower to go in order to potentially open the door up to get that much bigger move down first off looking down to 47.5 and then potentially down in, even into the mid to low 40s and i'm gonna get a little bit more into that in just a second but this is definitely going to be the danger zone for bitcoin as you guys know the fed is expected to lower rates and overall this is typically bullish for financial markets even though it's not always an instant reaction it does wind up being more bullish than bearish however i do think there is a possibility if we don't see things just start to randomly turn around out of nowhere i do think there is a potential possibility that as we approach these lows that we made at around forty nine thousand dollars, we do have this very very large large wick which oftentimes does wind up getting filled you guys will often hear people say where it wicks it sticks or where it wicks it goes there is some truth to this in my opinion and uh you know there is a possibility we could get a little bit more of a drop lower here now obviously on my live stream we have been looking for this to actually play out as price action has been going sideways here for about we'll call it for about 192 days this has been absolutely brutal to watch especially for content other than these little pumps and dumps this has been absolutely sideways price action over the summer which isn't that uncommon however the one thing i want to look at here guys is that higher time frame money flow on market cipher b which was making us anticipate this downtrend to continue as you guys know the money flow indicates the longer term trend and this money flow was not looking good on the two day making us anticipate these lackluster bounces to the upside to put in lower highs and then once again break structure to lower prices same thing here on that last dump down to forty nine thousand dollars that we got as we had money flow on the three day looking absolutely horrific coming out here in all of its glory we were looking for this to be a lackluster retracement up here into some very key levels which i'll bring up right now we were looking for price to come into this golden pocket and then eventually if we got above there that next highest likelihood area to get the lower high for the continuation down was going to be this box here sitting between about 64 and 66 thousand dollars where we had the 786 as well as a fresh daily horizontal and we did wind up getting the rejection right from that zone and we are now potentially looking to get that bigger breakdown before we get into the local levels here guys i want to talk about the bearish case if prices do break down what are some things we can look at how low can we go and let's dive into that right now so i'm going to go ahead and pull off this local range guys and if we were to go ahead and see that bigger breakdown the first major level that i'm going to be looking at is simply going to be this weekly naked point of control sitting at forty-seven thousand four hundred and eighty dollars so if we do wind up coming down to fill this large wick down here this would kind of be that next major major zone of support and if we do get down there um you know this isn't necessarily going to be the end all be all level we do have some levels underneath but if we get that quick drop very simply put next key high time frame level is going to be 47,480 47.5k to keep it nice and simple so you're going to want to have that marked off on your charts now if we were unable to hold that level and get an even bigger breakdown guys the next level i will be looking down to yes it is going to be down here in the mid to low 40,000s, where we have this naked volume profile i would call it about 44.3 all the way down to about forty-one thousand dollars. this is going to be a very very key level because if we do continue down and we're unable to hold that weekly naked point of control this is going to simply be that next major area of resistance because as you guys know the market is always hunting out fair value and if price starts to lose that fair value
value more often than not, if it's not going to create new value or find a new range, it is more often than not going to seek out a previous area of balance. And very simply put, guys, this is that previous area of balance sitting between $44,300 and $41,000. And we see this happen time and time again in the market. We were able to predict Bitcoin's larger moves from about $30,000 all the way up to about $48 to $50K based off this same exact idea of looking for price to hunt out that fair value and rotate these volume profiles. So simply put, if we lose this fair value, uh, I will be looking down to this next naked volume profile between $44,300 and $41,000. Now, not only do you have the naked volume profile here, but we also have some other key levels, such as a monthly horizontal, which is just right on that point of control of that naked profile. If you pull your Fibonacci retracement from this low back here in August, all the way up to the major high that we made up at about $74,000, you can see that this is where our macro golden pocket comes in. So if we did get that move down, it would make some sense to come down here uh, and potentially test these lower levels in the mid to lower 40s, guys. I don't want to spread fear out there, right? I'm not saying that this is guaranteed, but remember with the way this money flow has been coming down and the fact that we have that golden pocket and naked volume profile, if we were to see that bearish case, these are just simply going to be the highest likelihood areas to get visited in my own personal opinion. If we pull up those heat maps, you can see there is somewhat of a significant li liquidation level down there. Again, really what I like to see are these hot yellow boxes, but you know, once we start losing about 45K, 46K, you can see there really is nothing all the way down till about $34,000, which coincidentally is coming in right near that 786. So again, I am not calling for a $30,000 Bitcoin or anything like that. I just want to give you guys these key levels underneath us. So if we do get the bigger move down, you're not panicking and you simply have those key levels on your chart that you could look at and be like, okay, I'm going to sit on my hands, wait for that nice key level of support. And right now, very simply put, that is going to be the weekly naked point of control at 47,500 if we get that bigger drop. And then we lose that. Very simply put, I will be looking down towards this range where we also have a couple of other weekly naked points of control underneath. So maybe if we were to get back down there, you can look for price to respect this range. Maybe we deviate below and then get the bigger move up from there. Um, but again, if real panic ensues, just remember that macro 786 is sitting at about 34,371. And if you come up to a higher time frame, guys, I highly recommend you guys do this, especially if you're new to crypto um, and you may have bought up here at the top, which is not uncommon for new people in crypto. Zoom out to a higher time frame here uh, because it could feel very scary if you were buying up here and now you're feeling this big drop to the downside. But just understand from a long term perspective, guys, um, you know, I always talk about my uh, my average buy in for Bitcoins around 20 to twenty one thousand uh, dollars. So this is really not that scary, even if we were going to get that big pullback to, you know, forty two to thirty four thousand dollars like this would be a macro Fibonacci retracement. And, uh, you know, it wouldn't really necessarily, uh, you know, break any major structure, in my opinion, especially if we come down to that golden pocket. Uh, we may just kind of go down there, test. We still have a potential possibility to keep that bullish market structure on the higher time frames, And that would keep the door open for a potentially bullish uh, 2025 if we wind up seeing that happen. I do want to go ahead and take a look at some of these local levels that we're hitting right now uh, because these are high time frame levels. They may take weeks or months to come down and hit. But if I pull up these local levels, guys, you can see this is a level that we've been looking at on my live stream for like basically every single day, uh, you know, since we've been uh, ranging around here. And that level has now been tapped, sitting at $55,000. I think the, the title of uh, my live stream earlier this week was like, is 55K incoming, where we looked at this exact scenario playing out. So if you're not subscribed to the channel and you don't want to miss these live streams so you can have these levels before they get tapped as well, make sure you're subscribed and turn on notifications. But here we are sitting at that 55K zone. And I'll be quite honest with you guys, uh, not only do we have the golden pocket, but we also have a fresh daily down here as well. As you can see, $54,015. Uh, if we're unable to hold this level, guys, very simply put, I will be looking down to $52,353. And in my opinion, that is going to be the doorway to much lower prices because if we get a move back down there and we do not hold that level of support, I am simply going to be looking at that $47,500 level as that 786 could be our last hope of support. Now, guys, remember, we do have the expected rate cuts coming, which is typically a bullish event. However, we could potentially see that turn into a sell the news event. Um, so just be careful. I do think we are on the verge of seeing a very big move on Bitcoin here. Money flow on the higher time frames would be calling to the downside. But maybe we could get a bullish black swan if the Fed cuts rates more than people expect. Um, but remember, that can always go in the opposite direction as well. So with all that being said, guys, that's all the time I got for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Frankie Candles out. Go at the top of the class on a roll. And it's time to run it up. Yeah, you know, maxed out.